So um, this is Stitch, and Stitch is now four years old. He's four. He's four. He's blue, of course. And he he's uh, let's just walk him over this way. Okay. He is he is our most prolific dog, uh, stud dog by far. Uh, he gets. I have to watch out. Whoops! I'm making a lousy job of this video, and I apologize for that. There's other videos on our website, so it's just a kind of a quick update. But but he's uh, he gets used about once a week. He has he has been used at least 70 times now, um, and his claim to fame is small, small, muscular. Oh, very small. Lots doesn't of doesn't he's got a really flat face. He gets really pretty when he puts his ears up, which he's not doing for me right now, but he will You'll here in a moment. Something. There, there the ears. Go. There the ears. There he go. he has got a he's got a so here's you know to qualify this dog, he's small. He's 18 pounds. He's produced from very small puppies. If he's 18, I'd be surprised. I, I, I think, think it might 17. be 17, right? Yeah, yeah 17. Um, he's a little guy. He's uh, he's, but he's small, but he's got nice muscle tone. Um, he's got a short body. He's got short legs. He doesn't have the problems you see. He's not Russian. He's an AKC American-made dog. Some of the Russian dogs that you see, actually, I'd say a lot of them, they have they. Back past history, he has a little bit of Russian. Yes, food, right. Yes. But he's right. But here's the problem that I see with a lot of blue dogs. They're too huge. big, too big. Big mama's one problem. They're 27, 28, 29 pound dogs. They're outside the breed standard. They've got long legs. They've got funky looking heads. Yeah. They've got long they've got tails on them. Him's a pretty boy. Now I don't want to offend anybody no. if they've got a blue dog. I mean, you know, this is you know, no dog They're is just perfect. Hard to find. Yeah. This dog's not perfect. One 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 thing he's got is he's got a little white patch on his chest. It's very small. Yeah. It's right there. The little white patch right there. I wish that wasn't there, but it is there. And so you know, the answer is, is that most blue dogs do have some white on them. I have some blue females that have no white on them. But I have, but he typically will throw a nice blue dog when you put him with another blue dog. And so we had some, we've just now got a litter of seven that he produced, uh, what, last week? Yeah. So a very nice litter that he produced for us. And those dogs, they're mostly, I don't think there's any brindling on them. And there's only, I think, three or four of them have a tiny little bit of white on them. So he wants to hop around, he wants to go run. He so anyway, there's a current update for Stitch. He's a really a nice guy. He's a sweetheart, dark and uh, blue. and he produces dark blue dogs, and uh, uh, he's and very, six, have, very successful got for us. Just a little bit of brindling. Yeah, not, not much. Hardly any yes. at And you got to remember, you got to remember that I'm going to side view from here. You got to remember that the blue gene is actually a dilution of the of a black dog. So so typically, black dogs are supposed to have a little bit of brindling, otherwise they're disqualified. Now. Blue, of course, is not a standard, it's not an AKC recognized color, it's a kind of an exotic. But you will find most most blues have quite a bit of brindling. He's got a little bit. He throws beautiful heads on his babies, just beautiful babies. Stand nice and dark there. blue. So that's a really nice picture of him. Yeah. Okay, there he okay. is. Bye bye everybody.